So hello guys, um, the last part we, we did the exercise on uh, uh, the silo and now we are going to make the exercise on the cooler which is the second exercise of the exercise number 10. So exercise number 10 which is on the geometry of shell structure. So let's do it, let's go to shell design. Okay, I want to go to the projection of ZX geometry okay view menu projection zx you may press ctrl alt 1 now i'm going to make an arc geometry menu objects i want to make an arc okay i have here the dialog box on arcs i'm going to close the object inspector i don't need it okay i'm going to make an art and i will select the options beginning and in middle beginning and middle this one over here point p1 will be the beginning then i define the end and then you define the middle okay take note the points are changing so this first point will have the coordinates minus 10 0 10 me search for it minus 10 0 10 minus 10 0 10 is over here okay now it's minus 10 0 10 it's better to press I guess minus 10 0 minus 10 and then minus 7 0 0 I'm going to apply and there you have your arc to close this press ctrl a to select everything and i'm going to geometry menu objects and revolve going to revolve this arc about one axis the the, the rotation parameters are the axis beginning is zero 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 the end will be zero zero ten the rotation angle that i want is three 160 degrees okay the number of divisions will be 36 division I want a panel uh, that has 10 degrees okay 36 de divisions and I want to top base a new object not select okay I'm going to apply that And there you go there you've got your cooler previously i've got a warning about the limitations of the revolve function for revolution by 360 degrees but just say yes there you have your projection in 3z very cool i'm going to select the thickness over here sorry the thickness over here and I'm going to select this and over here all very good I'm going to close this view menu display I'm going to select the panel thickness option over here so that you may see the thickness of this shell structure okay and now I'm going to select the supports. I'm going to apply a linear support over down here. Okay. So I need to select the linear tab and the, I want a fixed support. And I want to indicate the button line circle of the structure. To select the circle, you have to find a place along its circumference in such a way it will get highlighted. If you have trouble finding this place, you should add labels by checking the numbers and labels of edges on the panels finite element tab in the display dialog box. Let's do that first. Okay, let me go to display, go to panels. And turn on numbers and labels of edges. Panel description, panel numbers, and panel 
labels panel names oh okay numbers and labels of edges i guess it's this one that i need i don't need this let me close that apply we've got this edge fixed i'm going to it might be better depending on the structure okay apply and there you go let me close that now i'm going to set the meshing options for this i'm going to analyze menu meshing meshing options i'm going to set the delaine option i'm going to enter the element size one meter okay I'm going to press OK and I'm going to generate the model. There you go. A very cool cooler as you may see around here. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. And we will have the next video will be on the pipeline.